Hi, I'm Jack Crawford, Director of Certification and Assembly Technology for IPC with your Tech Question of the Week. A fairly common question we get is relates to pull testing on SMT components, solder connections. They want to know what is the desired or maximum or minimum amount of pull testing uh, strength I should expect. The bottom line is there are no IPC pull test specifications nor, as the reliability experts tell us, should there be. There are good reasons that none exist. First, there is no such thing as a real lead pull test. While you are, of course, pulling on the lead, what you are doing in the solder joint is peeling it. So the proper term is a lead peeling test. Second, the solder joint strength, as determined by the lead peeling test, has no bearing on the reliability of the solder connection providing that the peeling does not reveal inadequate wetting or poor metallization, such as from black pad. Third, in a peeling test, you always need to observe the whole peel load history for the whole peeling process. With a one thickness or larger heel fillet, the largest load will be at the initial portion of peeling through the heel fillet. With lower loads, subsequently depending on whether or not, or to what extent, side joint fillets are present. Fourth, the fracture surfaces of the peeled solder joints give typically more information than do the peel load histories because the only really important finding is whether or not adequate wetting has taken place, i.e. whether a separation is mostly interfacial or if it's in the solder. Fifth, the reliability in actual use does to a large extent depend on the heel fillet and the bottom flat wetting. If the lead length is short, a greater bottom wetting is required. A longer length uh, on there, the toe may need to be tacked down or you may need a fairly substantial wetting area to keep the lead from rocking uh, or from vibrating and uh, causing a fracture. Side fillets are less important unless you are having wetting problems on the bottom. All of the above applies to leadless solder joints including BGAs.